Testing, testing, one, two, three. What is going on, homies? My name is John Solo, and today we're discussing a Star Wars theory that I'm really hoping you guys are gonna like. Today's theory is all about Anakin Skywalker, AKA Darth Vader, one of the most powerful Force users in the Star Wars universe with one of the most tragic origins that you could imagine. Of course, Anakin is not the only victim of his backstory. He did some undoubtedly horrible things himself, and he is in part responsible for his own suffering. However, if you look at the reasoning behind his actions from his perspective and put yourself in his shoes, you may be able to see the situation in a new light. Anakin didn't do what he did because he's a malicious psychopath, he did it because he was afraid. He was afraid of the woman he loved dying during childbirth and from his perspective the only person who seemed to care at all was the Chancellor. That doesn't make what he did justified, but it does raise some questions that this theory attempts to answer. The man with no hope did the one thing he thought would be able to save his wife, his actions came from love and misplaced trust. His joining the dark side wasn't the result of a genuine shift in his moral compass, but instead manipulation by the Sith. I'm not denying that Anakin did some horrible things, and I'm not denying that he did eventually turn to the dark side. However, according to this theory, his turn happened a lot later than we all thought. Let's take a look at episode 4. That's right, we're saying that even in episode 4, he still hadn't made his full shift to the dark side. In episode 4, there's a few times where Darth Vader listens to the commands and advice of Grand Moff Tarkin. For example, when he decides to force choke the Imperial officer who chooses to mouth off to him, he actually lets go when Tarkin tells him to. Enough of this. Vader, release him. As you wish. <laughs> Tarkin also later refers to Vader as my friend, which is something that we only ever hear the Emperor do. Then towards the end of the film, Vader has two TIE pilots join him when he decides to take the old TIE Interceptor out for a spin and take out the Rebels himself. He actually says to them, we will have to destroy them ship to ship. We will. All of these situations seem to point towards an atmosphere of mutual respect. Vader knows that he's the boss man, but he doesn't necessarily mistreat those below him. This all happens in episode 4. The next time we see Vader, he's a terrifying monster who's killing subordinates. When watching the movies, it honestly is a little difficult to tell the difference between Episode 4 Vader and Episode 5. However, if you really closely evaluate it, there does appear to be one. It almost seems like Darth Vader was just having fun in Episode 4. Like I said before, Anakin did some terrible things. He was a traitor and he was a murderer. He had nowhere to turn except for Darth Sidious, who rescued him and dubbed him Darth Vader. As Vader, Anakin had something that he craved the entire time he was a Jedi, he had genuine power and respect. And also within the Empire, no one knew who he was except for maybe Grand Moff Tarkin, so he was able to rebuild a life and adopt a new persona. This all resulted in Vader genuinely being happy, and it's because of this that he gave respect to the officers below him if they deserved it. Obviously, this guy isn't one of those officers, but I don't think Vader actually intended on killing him because otherwise he would have. In the events leading up to A New Hope, everything was going great for Darth Vader until the destruction of the Death Star when it was all stripped away. Everything he had worked so hard for for over 20 years was ruined because of the rebels. They killed his soldiers, they killed his friends, and it was insulting. Vader let himself care about people once more, and it was all taken away. It was during this time that Vader learned the name of the pilot who blew up the Death Star and realized that Palpatine had lied to him. For the first time, he truly understood how he'd been used. Vader may have been angry and hurt in Episode 4, but he was even more so in Episode 5. The difference is, in Episode 5, he wasn't acting out of loyalty to Palpatine. He wasn't justifying his actions by saying he was giving order to the galaxy. He wasn't claiming to be righting the wrongs for the people who had suffered under the Galactic Senate. Episode 5 is the first time we see Darth Vader acting fully out of evil. He was acting out of contempt for the Imperial officers around him who didn't understand the true nature of his master like he did. The subtitle title A New Hope wasn't referring to Luke discovering his affinity with the Force, but Vader's attempt at rebuilding a life. And that, my friends, is today's theory. What'd you think? Honestly, I'm torn on whether I believe this one or not, so I'm really excited to hear your guys' take on it. Leave me your thoughts in a comment down below. Hit that like button if you enjoyed this video. Click share if you want to share this video with any of your fellow Star Wars nerds, and hit subscribe for weekly Star Wars content. I've got a link to my social media accounts in the description down below, as well as the Reddit post that inspired this video. Feel free to check them out. Thank you all so, so much for watching. In case you forgot, my name is John Solo. 
and I'll see you next time. May the force be with you always. Thank you.